Well, hello, hello. This is Cindy with American Travel Bureau, and I have my friend, Bernie Beausoleil, one of our agents, and he's going to do a quick tutorial on getting signed up on the Prince's Commodore training and how that works. You're going to go through all the modules. You're going to take the individual tests, and at the end, you will qualify for a free Prince's cruise. You do have to pay the port fees and taxes. Uh, take it away, Bernie. Okay, guys, um, the first thing you do once you get into uh, onesourcecruises.com link uh, or website, you scroll down to Conard Academy on the left. Or, or, or yeah, there you go. And this will, okay, then you, since you're going to be taking a Princess Cruise course, click on Princess Cruises. Now, mine is Commodore because I've already gone through the course, but what you're going to see is you're going to see about 25 courses and they're going to be broken down into required course the red uh, color and then elective course the green so what i suggest you do is click on all and do all the required courses first and then afterwards you've got an open selection of elective courses that you can pick and choose you don't have to do all of them just pick out the ones you'd like to do um, now here's a big tip when you're going through the course each course is about uh, 20 minutes, maybe 15 or 20 minutes. And then you're going to have about a 10 minute quiz. Um, there's a lot of material, a lot of, uh, but there's a lot of, there's a lot of photographs with bullet points or maybe in the paragraph, some key bullet points. Pay attention to the facts and figures on, on each one of the, uh, uh, photographs and, and in the course. And so what I do, this is a little tip that helped me. I remembered a lot of material, but you know, there's a, there's some details I, I couldn't remember. So what I did is I took my iPhone and on the photographs that had the bullet points or that had specific information, I just took little snapshots of each one of those uh, slides. And then, and I took a lot of them. And then when I got to the quiz, if there was I did most of the quiz on my own, but if I got stuck, I would scroll quickly back to the photographs to see what I'm missing, and then I would know what the answer is. So I typically scored, we have to score 70 or higher, and I typically scored 80 or 90 on, on, my, on my course. So um, now when you get into, when you finish all 25 courses, um, if you before you finish 25 courses, if you click on book your cruise, nothing is going to show up. The, the, it won't even work. When you finish your 25th course, you're going to take a longer exam. I think it's like 20 minutes. And there's a couple of trick questions in the exam. Um, so really pay attention when you're reading. Don't just scan through the material read it and try to remember a lot of, there's a lot of material, but try, you know, it's, it's pretty easy overall, but still it's a lot of material. So when you get done and when you're going through the, the final exam, um, there's a couple of questions. There's, it's not full of trick questions. It's a lot of, it's pretty easy, but there's a couple of questions that will trip you up. Um, so you, again, you have to get 70% or higher. And I think if you've done your work on each of the courses, you're going to do fine on the exam. And the other thing is, if you screw up on the exam, they let you, you know, you just go ahead and go th start the process again. So, because they want you to know the material and they want you to pass and they want you to be a Commodore. Um, so when you go through the courses, as you're going, you're not going to go from 20, from zero to 25 Um without stopping to Commodore, you're going to go through a certain group and then they're going to say, congratulations, you've become an officer. And then congratulations, you've become a staff captain and then a, whatever, a captain. And you keep going until finally, congratulations, you're a Commodore. As soon as you become a Commodore, then there's congratulations, there's email, there's a certificate. Then, they, then the link to your book, your free cruise pops up. I personally thought that, you know, I'm just going to get a three-day cheap little free cruise down out of Galveston to Cozumel. But when I clicked on the, the book, your free cruise tab, I was shocked. 
it said you have 51 cruises to pick from worldwide. Amazing. Freaking worldwide. And including Alaska cruises, uh, Asia, Europe. I mean, anything you want. And there's no time limit on when you can take your cruise. So the cruise allows you and and your significant other or friend to go on the cruise um, pretty much all expense paid. And you're now a Commodore, so you're getting elite status. You can upgrade to suites or whatever, you know, maybe for a couple of hundred bucks, just incredible suites, you know, the, all the all the best of the best. Mm -hmm. um, you can also take two more people and you pay for them, but it's a discounted rate, a very severely discounted rate. And um, I think it's incredible. So I can't wait to take my cruise. I think I'm going to take the Alaska cruise. Oh, very cool. Well, well thank you yeah. so much, Bernie. I appreciate you coming on. Yeah, you're welcome.